I, unfortunately, it wasn't much of a game tonight. I mean, Northeastern just took it to us from the go. Um, we didn't have much in the tank to battle back. Uh, you got to give them credit. They're a really good basketball team. I felt good going into the night. Um, felt good going into the tournament. I liked our matchups. We had played well against a lot of teams in, in our half of the draw. And I thought we'd make a run. And, and, we, and we made a run. We won one game. And we got to the semifinals. Uh, you know, obviously short of our goal, we wanted to get back to the championship game because you never know what can happen uh, once you get there. And uh, like I said, they, they, they were too good tonight. Uh, we shot less than 30%. Uh, their defense really cracked down. We tried to get the ball inside. They shut that off and we had too many turnovers. Um, just forced too many things. And obviously, defensively, we couldn't get enough stops. Uh, we couldn't disrupt their rhythm like we wanted to. And uh, you know, they, they had a heck of a basketball game. And best of luck to them. I, I don't know what it was, John. We, we just looked like we were in quicksand. And that was to a man, uh, you know, late night. Um, back-to-back -back games for the first time in a while. Yeah, it could be a lot of things, but you know, at halftime, we were down by eight against Hofstra and came back to win. We were down nine today, and I told them, you know, we had to have the same kind of half and just came out and didn't get the stops so we needed too early and, and just couldn't make the shots to really muster a run. You, you, gotta, you have to get stops, yes, but you got to make some shots to muster a run, and, and we, we couldn't do enough of either. And, you know, it, you, you can attribute that to a lot of things. They're, they're a pretty good basketball team, you know. I mean, they weren't 14-4 and four in the conference for – you know, no reason. And, uh, you know, they have a great chance to win tomorrow. Uh, Charleston, it'll be a great game. But they co-regular season champions with Charleston. And, uh, you know, so I think there's a lot of factors. But whatever it was, I told the guys I have, if you, you got to give it all because there is no tomorrow, so to speak. you got to wait a whole another six months before you step on the court for a basketball game. Now, they can step on the basketball court and get a lot better individually, and we can do some individual workouts and those kind of things. But to actually compete, it's going to be a long time coming. And so however tired you are, you got to fight through it. And we just couldn't. Yeah, they do. And that's what they do. I mean, they're a good basketball team. Uh, you know, it starts with their point guard. They create for each other. And they, they've done that all year. That's why they've had such a terrific season. And uh, that's what we try and do. And when we do it, we're really good. And uh, tonight, you know, we were taking one extra dribble every time. And that one extra dribble always got us in trouble. And you know, I think maybe because we could take that one extra dribble last night, you know, Hofstra defensive strategies were a little different than Northeastern's. And so just just the difference in those two games um, was the difference in tonight's game. And, and we had too many forced drives, not necessarily did we turn it over, um, but we just didn't get the shots that we needed to, and we didn't get as open of looks. They do a nice job closing out. They have length. Uh, you know, Osius is a six, six guard, 6'5 six, guard. He's on Jordan Talley, who's six foot. So that extra length really helps them out. Um, I just think they were gang rebounding. Um, I know they probably emphasized on trying to box me out. Um, they did a pretty good job with that, but they just crashed. Um, they did as much as they could on the offensive boards, defensive boards, and um, that helped them out. Yeah, I think Jordan comes into every game feeling pretty confident, no matter who's guarding him. Um, and tonight, uh, it didn't work out for Jordan. Um, the one thing I'll say about Jordan is, you know, I played basketball, and I'd probably want somebody to say this at the end of my career. He, he, he gave everything he could every game to UNCW for four years. And, you know, that, that's something that everybody will always remember Jordan Talley for. And that's how I would want to be remembered. You know, I, I wasn't a good enough player. I gave it my all. I played three minutes a game. You know, Jordan Talley played a lot of minutes for us, and he gave everything he had every single night. And Devontae had an unbelievable season, uh, you know, leading the nation in rebounding. He only had nine tonight. I assume he'll still be in the lead for an average of rebounds. That, that's a heck of a year. With every single person, every single night, three or four bodies banging him, trying to box him out, he just kept going, just kept going. Uh, got frustrated at times, but who wouldn't, you know? And uh, just appreciate his effort all season long. He and Jordan were consistent guys. Uh, they were great leaders for us, and, uh, you know, just, just proud of them. Yeah, you know, we started obviously very slow. And, uh, you know, really worked hard after about a week of the CAA on our defense. And I thought we got a lot better. It didn't show tonight. You know, this is not how I'd want the last game, how I'd want them to feel about their season. Uh, you know, I think they should take some pauses away from the improvement they made, the progress they made from day one of the season until now. Uh, you know, last night's game, I thought the second half of Hoster might have been the best half of basketball we've played on the offensive and defensive end. And then you, you put that together with tonight's performance, and, and you, you don't feel as good. Uh, but I think looking back, all the guys did 
get better. They did show progress, but I, I told them and I challenged them that everybody's got to get a lot better. You know, starting day one next year, we got to be better defensively than we are right now today, and and that's a lot on them. You know, they can do a lot of stuff individually over these next few months to get a lot better. But you know, I, I'm just proud of their progress. You know, they they stuck together. Uh, there was some good, there was some bad, but they always stuck together, and uh, it showed these last. I don't know, six weeks, because uh, we were in pretty much every game. Uh, it just really competed. I don't think it helped them any more than it helped us. You know, I think the familiarity, the confidence that our guys had that, okay, we lost two overtime games. Now, yeah, you lost them, but you're in the game. And tonight, we got off to a good start, and then they just started making some shots, and we couldn't get them out of rhythm, and then we, we were out of the game. And, uh, you know, we, we couldn't muster up any kind of comeback. And, uh, you know, disappointing in that but um, you know our guys kept on doing it all season and they and they finally just sort of just ran out of gas.